so hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we are gonna tweak our android using Sizuku and its supported app Sizuku gives you real root like power without rooting and many advanced apps need it so let's start it first let's talk about Sizuku setup if you have not yet or if you have already set up Sizuku watch from this so first we will set up Sizuku in our Android device and run it. There are two methods to do this. First method is for Android 11 to Android 15 for newer devices and the second method is for older devices below Android 11. So first method one is to install Sizuku. Go to play store and search for Sizuku and click install. We are providing you with ads free downloads, direct play store links. So please subscribe to our channel and like this video. After Sizuku is successfully installed in your device, you need to enable developer options. If you have not yet, you can just search for your device, how to enable de developer options in your device. For MIUI, you just need to click MIUI version seven times to enable it after enabling developer options go to Sizuku app now as you can see Sizuku is currently not running we need to run Sizuku first we need to pair Sizuku with wireless debugging click on pair and here you will get the option to go to developer options then scroll down in developer options search for wireless debugging click on wireless debugging and turn it on then click on pair using code and you will get a code there just copy this code in notifications you will get the option to enter that code just enter this code in the notification to connect Sizuku and after this Sizuku will be successfully connected again go to Sizuku and start the service After this, if there is a problem, we need to fix it. For my device MIUI, we need to turn on wireless debugging security options. You can also check for your device. If there is any problem, you will find here. Then just do the thing. Now I will go to setting and turn on wireless debugging security options to run Sizuku in my device. I will turn it on. Click next. Then go to Sizuku and again start the service. Now it will be set up successfully. Now Sizuku is running. This was the method one for setting up Sizuku in your Android device without a PC or a computer. Now for method two, we are gonna use our computer to do it below Android 11 devices. So first we need to connect our device with a computer or any Android device using a OTG port. Then again we need to turn on developer options and turn on wireless debugging. You know how to enable developer options after enabling it. Connect your device to your computer. Plug. Then here you need to select file transfer. Then go to settings, go to additional settings, then developer options and search for USB debugging and turn it on. Click OK and after turning USB debugging on, go to Sizuku and find the code here. Click view code and you must copy this code to your computer and paste in the CMD. We need this code, so just send it or copy this to your computer. After copying, we will move to our computer screen. First, we need to install ADB in our computer. I have a Linux device, so its procedure is different. You must search for Windows if you have a Windows, how to install ADB in your device. First, just install ADB. In Linux, we need to 
type sudo apt install adb then after installation type adb devices to search for your device if it's connected successfully after typing you will get the device if it's connected here my device is shown here then you need to paste the exact code which is given in the Suzuku. After pasting and typing the enter, Suzuku will be started. You can find by going to Suzuku and you can check here Suzuku is running. In this method, you must turn it on again after reboot because after rebooting, it will be turned off. Now let's move to today's Twitter app. This app is supported by Suzuku and it can grant deep ADB permissions to boost the device performance and do other certain things without rooting the device. To install the app, you just need to go to the Play Store and search for Magic Tuner. Search Magic Tuner and install it. After installation, just open the app and grant it Suzuku permissions. Click allow all the time. Then accept its terms and conditions and click on continue. After that, we will do some basic settings. Click on system lab and select performance tweaks. We don't need to make any change in the resolution because lower the resolution, higher the performance. Check the refresh rate of your device. If your device supports 90 or 60 Hz, just select that, not more than that. If your device selects 144 Hz, then only select it. For example, my device supports 60 Hz. So I will select 60 Hz in my device. Then you must turn on system performance boost, memory management, CPU optimization, G-Sync control, frame rate control all these are mandatory all this will do the basic things for your device now go back click on graphic settings here you don't need to turn everything on just you need to turn on is smooth graphics mode then hardware acceleration after hardware acceleration sf hardware acceleration you don't need to turn on force anti-aliasing mode and GPU interval control. They'll, they will increase the lag in your device. After that, you will get the option of render engine control. If you have a low-end device, very low-end device, then you must select chipset here. If you have very high-end device, very new model, then you must select dynamic. And if you have a mid-range device, then you have to select graphics for me i will select graphics this will work best for my device after render engine control we'll get the gpu render control here you must select open gl then you can go back and go to game settings here you have to select open gl native and select balanced or balanced plus. I am going to select balanced because I want better gameplay. Don't select HD plus because it will cause lag. After that, go back and select advanced settings. This is a premium feature. That's why you need to watch ads to use this. You must watch ads or you can buy the premium. For applying it once, Watch a ad and apply it. By watching ad, you can apply all this before playing a game. So your gaming performance will be better. Doing all this will fix your gaming lags and improve the performance of your device. This can easily fix any device performance. And then you can enjoy your gaming experience. So guys, till here only for today. Let's meet you in the next video. Bye.